Okay, we're going to start with a basic rhythm and learn how to embellish that rhythm to uh, add a little uh, more interest to it. Um, here's a basic rhythm, and uh, if you want to analyze this rhythm, you're doing a strum, a downstroke on, on the first and the third count of each measure. Each, each, each uh, chord gets one measure. One, two, three, four, one. simple rhythm that could easily support a song. <laughs> Countless songs use this chord sequence and that rhythm. But when you play a whole song, you rarely just state one rhythm and play that for the whole song. It'd be kind of monotonous, and there wouldn't be anything to distinguish the verse from the chorus or, or, or different dynamic areas of the song. Just when you speak, you don't speak in one rhythmic type of sense. You you add these rhythmic uh, uh, nuances to your speech to make it sound more interesting. It, yeah, as a di you 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 speak dynamically. You, you you punctuate certain phrases. You slow down for certain phrases. Even though the basic rhythm of speaking might be the same, you 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 kind of embellish it with different rhythmic ornaments to make it sound more interesting. It's the same thing with guitar. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this basic rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a short strum. Like a, so we're going to punctuate the rhythms that you're playing. So you're going to play on one, two, three, four. On two and four, you're going to do a short strum. Like the first st uh, beat, you do a full strum. Then the second beat, just do like a partial strum, a lighter partial strum. The third beat, a full strum. The fourth beat, a lighter strum. So it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if you started a song with. necessary as the song dictates. Um, you can also take that, that little down, that little light strum on, this, on the <coughs> second and fourth beat, and instead of just doing a single strum, you can do it down and up. So you can go one, two, and three, four, and down, down, and down, down, up. Heavy strum on the first count, light, down, up on the second count. Heavy strum on the third count, light, down, up on the fourth count. So. song build you can you can introduce these different ornaments as necessary so I'll start the song
together, you could have the, you could have two strums on, e on, on each beat, a heavy strum and a light strum on count of one, two down and up light strum on count of two, heavy light on three, and two light strums on four. <laughs> The idea is once you get comfortable inserting these little these, these these short strums on the on the second or fourth beat or even on the end of the first or third beat, you can mix and match and come and, and come up with a million variations of this. So if I was going to play this chord progression, I might play a little bit of all of those things. So four, 